Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to partition a hard drive in Windows 10. Now, I've made a tutorial about this a pretty long time ago, and I just wanted to make a follow-up video. So, I'm just going to go over the basics of how to partition a hard drive, and we're going to keep it pretty straightforward in this tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, and start by opening up the Start menu. Just off on the Start button one time, and type in Disk Management. Best match, should go back to Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Go ahead and left click on that. Give it a moment here to launch the Disk Management window. So now you should see a list of all the disks that are installed in your computer. So you really shouldn't be messing with the system reserved partition and you more than likely won't be able to actually touch it. If you see any drives with drive letters such as this with the C colon or you might have different letters here, you should be able to partition these drives and you can also see how big the drive is as well. So 29.46 gigabytes which is fairly small by today's contemporary standards of hard drive sizes. But I know for a fact this is our main hard drive. If you had like a flash drive or something hooked up to your computer, it'd probably only be a few gigabytes just for comparison's sake. So once you know what drive you want to go partition, you want to right click on that and then select where it says shrink volume. Okay, so once you're in here, now you want to enter the amount of space you want to shrink it in megabytes. So keep in mind 1024 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte. So let's just shrink it 1 gigabyte here. So this will be the size of our new partition here. So once you decide on how large you want it to be in megabytes, just type it in here. Keep in mind 1024 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte. Once you're done with that, go ahead and left click on the shrink button. And now you should have an unallocated space. So we can see I created 100 megabytes for our new partition. We're going to go ahead and right click on that and then select new simple volume. Going to get a little pop up here saying welcome to the new simple volume wizard. The wizard helps you create a simple volume on a disk. A simple volume can only be used on a single disk. To continue, click next. Left click on next. Select next again. The size probably don't need to adjust it. It should just be the full size of the maximum disk that you've already allocated for it. Go ahead and select next again. At this point, you can assign a drive letter, so anything that's not being currently used. So anything from A to Z, as long as it isn't being used here. I'll just set it at E. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and select next. You can name this drive whatever you want. So volume label, you can call it whatever. You can say extra storage. I mean, it could be anything, really file system, keep that at default at NTFS and allocation unit size, just keep that at default as well. Volume label, you can keep this box checked where it says perform a quick format and then select next and then one quick summary view here you have before finishing it off by clicking the finish button and within a few moments hopefully it should create a new partition and you can see now our computer is recognizing it and if I went into Windows Explorer here, went underneath this PC you can see it's recognizing our new drive. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys I like to think. Thank you guys for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.